Hi, first graders. Today we're going to get a chance to practice visualizing a story. Visualizing means that you're making a picture in your mind. You have to listen closely and carefully while you're listening to the story or while you're reading the story to try to hear clues that the author gives you about the setting, about the characters, and about what's happening. And then you can use those clues to try to create pictures in your mind or visualize a story. I'm going to read to you a page out of a book called My Rows and Piles of Coins. And I'm just going to read one small section. And while I'm reading aloud, you're going to try to picture what you think the author is trying to tell you about the story. Each box up at the top has an area where you can draw a quick little picture of different things that you hear about. Go ahead and get started by writing your name at the top. Please pause the video, put your name at the top. And when you're done doing that, push play so that you can hear some of the clues that you can sketch. Now you might have to pause and rewind the video to hear um, the story a few times so you can go back and add as many clues as you can. Try to fill as many in as you can, okay? All right, here I go with my reading. I plunged into the market. I saw roasted peanuts, chapati, rice cakes, and sambusa. There were wooden toy trucks, kites, slingshots, and marbles. My heart beat excitedly. I wanted to buy everything, but I clutched my coins tightly in my pocket. Okay, now if you like, you can rewind the video and listen to it a few times. I wanted to try to draw as many things as you heard about in the market. And I'd also like you to draw the character and draw what he was doing. So if you don't remember, you might want to rewind the video to write to draw your little sketch. When you're done visualizing the story, I want you to think of a memory or connection that you have. So thinking about what I just read to you, does that remind you of something that you've done before? Maybe you've been to a market or a store or a mall and maybe you've had some coins or some money in your pocket. Or maybe you've seen some things before that were being sold at the market. In this small area, I want you to just write one teeny tiny little sentence telling me about a memory that you have that connects to the story. Pause the video and fill this part in now. In the last section, it says words I am thinking of. How do you think the character feels right now? What are some details in the setting that might help you understand the text? Jot any words down that come to your mind. The words might go with your pictures, or they might go with your memory connection. 